Well, good evening, First Baptist Church of Jasper, Georgia. Welcome to Wednesday night Bible study. Uh, this is the last Wednesday night for the for for 2020, and so and we're we're going to do something different tonight. Instead of looking through a passage of scripture and wrestling with the text, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about Christmas. We're in the midst of the Christmas season, so. Where does Christmas come from? Where, when did it begin? When did the celebration start to happen? You know, what are some unique things of just knowing the history, knowing our story of Christmas? Because it's so important as, as people that we know our history, whether it's our family history, whether it's um, just, you know, our faith history. There's just so, to know our past, so important. So as we know we go forward, we, we know when we do something, why we do it, and how, how special that is. So the origins of Christmas. We celebrate Christmas, or a majority of the Christmas Christian church celebrates Christ, Christmas, can't talk, um, on December the 25th. Uh, the only church that doesn't celebrate Christmas is the Armenian church. And the Armenian church celebrates the birth of Jesus and the baptism of Jesus on January the 6th. Where sometimes people call that the dedication, some traditions call it a baptism. So, now Christmas. The New Testament doesn't give us any guidelines about the day, the month, or the year that Jesus was born. Um, there's no evidence in the in the um in the scriptures about this the at the beginning of the um church i guess as the beginning of the church the only big holiday that was celebrated was easter so christmas wasn't even on the radar of many of um of of the christian church so where do we get the date of december the 25th well Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this name here. Um, I'm not probably the best of it. Hippocletus of Rome, in my Alabama translation, um, he was a Christian theologian, a very influential um, theologian. From he was born at 170 CE, and he lived at 236. So between the second second and third century, he was a very influential theologian and he was the first to settle on this date of December the 25th. Uh, he reached the conclusion that the um, going back to the spring equinox of uh, that the conception of Jesus was on March the 25th. Nine months later is December the 25th but that was the date of the, the spring equinox. So when if they if they settled on this day, the question is is when did Christmas begin to be celebrated within the Christian church? The earliest record of Christmas being on a, a calendar was um, 354 CE. The Philo Chalian calendar. You can begin to find. That, Rome, that Christmas was celebrated. But historians believe that, that the first Christmas is probably around 336 uh, CE is when they began to. So in the churches in the eastern and the western part of the empire um, began to celebrate all ex still except the Armenian church. So on so December the 25th, what became known as the Festival of the Nativity. So it wasn't necessarily called Christmas. And then January the 6th is what the, um, the Eastern Church calls the Festival of the Epiphany, where they celebrate the birth and the baptism of Jesus. So here are some factors that kind of led to the acceptance of this date of December 25th. There were some Roman holidays centered around this time. There was um, that that ended during the middle of the fourth century, and this was because 
the Christian population was con- was beginning to grow. More people were beginning to coming to this coming to faith of Christ. So there was this holiday called Saturnalia. Maybe it's pronounced a little bit differently, but I'm going to give it. That's the best I can do. That was from s- December the 17th to the 21st, about a seven day um, holiday. And then there was Brumilia, or Brumilia. I'm not sure which one it is. On December 25th, this was the feast of the winter solstice. And um, as as these as the Christian population began to grow, these ho- these holidays began to fade out, and the and they began to settle that. Um, this the December twenty fifth became known as a feast day um, to celebrate Christmas. So, so as as the Roman Empire grew, as it grew into Europe, as into North and Central Europe, missionary efforts began to move within that effort, or within as the Roman Empire expanded, so did. Um, Missionaries began to go into those other areas, and the um, and as the faith took, as the faith became a part of those newer Roman communities, that the festival festival of the Nativity was um, also celebrated. But the unique thing about it, as it moved into these areas, it took on different traditions. So basically, the customs of the area sometimes got mixed into the. Um, the customs of the celebration of the nativity of, of Christmas. And you think about it as you go to different people's homes of the different traditions that they have or culturally as you go to across the world you we see people celebrate Christmas in different ways with different types of food or um, just different um, things they do with, with friends or family. So the festival of the nativity eventually became the 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 religion of the masses. So, so Chris so Christmas was something that was celebrated throughout the Roman Empire. So, as you and I'm sure throughout your lifetime you've probably been to a church, or been to a place where they have done a live nativity. You know this this year we're going to do a live nativity on December the nineteenth. Well. The around the high Middle Ages, Saint Francis began to do a live nativity. Saint Francis of Assisi believed that the the poor, the illiterate, should you know they weren't able to, to read. The you know, a lot of people didn't have access or the ability to read or access to the scriptures. That he wanted them to be able to see the to see the the, the Christmas story lived out. So that's when the dramatization of the nativity happened where um, Mary and Joseph and the shepherds and the, and the angels, that they began doing these, these different pageantries for the, for the people so they could begin to get a picture of what actually happened on that first Christmas. So, so you may have known some of this, you may have not. And there was a lot of this as I, as I began to research things that I learned for the first time. So, but it's just it's so important to be mindful of our history, of where we come from, why we do it. So this way when we sit down and, and we, we celebrate and we worship and we think about the Christmas story, just looking back and we think, you know, where did it come from? Why do we do it this way? And it just makes us a little bit more appreciative. Um, for for what happens and um, and also to be I guess make room as we you know as you go from one house to another to make room for different traditions um, within the Christmas story uh, so so again this is the last night for Wednesday night study for for the year for this year for 2020 we will begin on January the 6th, Wednesday, January the 6th, and we're going to do this, um, this series on the faith of the colonies. So the faith of the United States colonies that began. So just in a way, learning about 
these colonies will kind of help us to know where we are today and why we are who we are and, and you can kind of understand maybe the areas so um, just a little bit of you know helping us to, to know our to know our history is, is so important and, and, and it's exciting and it's interesting so I hope that um, over these next few few weeks you get some good rest and um, be able to connect with some people whether you see them in person or connect with them over the phone so, um, so, but Merry Christmas, and I will see you next year.